Okay, we're off to the races. So time is of the essence here. Uh, we are trying to track down what we think is the next victim. Uh, it's one of the guys that we met earlier, and he is now going to be dressed as a hare in this game that they play. And we think that this group of knights is being tracked down and killed because they're breaking these these Hurry. virtues of Toussaint. We must go so, to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean, we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence. So yeah. we shall have to break the rules. I'm getting that impression. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nab a unicorn head. horn. That will be quickest. Okay. Um. Unicorn horn? The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. Earn its fish. trust. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Garrett. It's not a real fish. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. I guess that's it. Look for the unicorn in the clearing. Retrieve the golden fish. Oh, look here. We can go this way. The unicorn is significantly closer. I'm going to run as fast as I can here. I don't know if we're on like a an actual timer, but I get the impression that this is obviously urgent, so we're going for it. Unicorns are thought to like music. But this is no true unicorn. Yeah, it's a horse with a thing strapped Perhaps on its head. Perhaps some apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Uh. Do you really wish to have this conversation again, here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. <laughs> Who's that? Axie sign, maybe? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, use your witcher sensors to find a treat. Arr! For the unicorn. Think unicorns. Aha! Uh -huh. Little girls. <laughs> Sweets, maybe. That'll do. Okay, prepare for it by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel, then selecting it from the quick access menu. To use the item, press or hold the middle mouse button. Thief! How dare he! Are you guys, on us. You guys serious right now? It's a cake. Just relax. Uh, let's see. Should be in here, no? Maybe. Oh, it's already in here. Okay, great. Perfect. We've got it selected. Take the cookie to the unicorn and gain its trust. I don't want to scare it off. Are you serious? Oh, I thought that, that would be perfect. Let's get rid of it then. What else do these guys have that I could steal from them? 
Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, let's try it. We have to walk up nice and calmly. It's a starry night. The sun is setting, moon is rising. Look at that. Whew. An apple. Young yeah, man. come over here. Apples are great. They're good for you. Enjoy. Easy. Clue Gardens from the horn. Are huge. Be better off on horseback. Oh, yes. Roach is going to be jealous. Move it. Oh, I don't have a good way of getting down from here. It's cool. I'll take care of you. We'll use that horn as a weapon. Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Whoa, don't go too deep in there. Okay, you guys are doing things the hard way. I see it. Perhaps that's the way to do it. Sure, if you're a peasant. I mean, this is the smartest possible way of doing this. Do I have to, uh... It's candy. Okay, so that's not the golden one. Toffee. Strange. More candy. Okay, let's catch our breath here. These guys don't like this. Oh, that's too bad. These things are all roped down. Why would you fish for it? More toffee. Oh, there it is. I see it. This has got to be the one. It's like shimmering. There it is. No! Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. This is not going to go well. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon its heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A key. Okay, so now... Do I have to swim back? Can I not take this boat? Looks like I'm swimming. Come on. So she's looking for Phoenix Egg. We've got a key. There's something inside of the... The ribbon that we found on the unicorn horn. What that is, I'm not 100% sure, but... I'm going to take the unicorn up, too. Go, go. Good boy. Please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. She's got a point. <laughs> Geralt, at last. 
Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese? Hollowed out. I'm not sure. And like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Could be the pantry's got to be food involved, maybe? Mice and cheese. That's mouse probably a pantry, bit maybe. literal. No. The head is obliged to hide here in the gardens. Look. If we take room, hollow it out and fill it with ease. The left oh. side is. We get green. Green. Then oh. mouse. But starting with what heads hard cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. <laughs> Pretty clever. Wow. And it sounds right to Kudos. Me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is there. Let's go. found it. We're late, but we found it. Whoa. What was that? Yeah, good question. What? This is not going to go well for us. Come I'm on. Here. Let's talk this out. This belonged to you, maybe? It did. But you may keep it. I've a new one. Huh. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people. At least. And you... How many innocents have you cut down? <laughs> I mean, we've probably made some mistakes in the past. But... Let's see how we justify that. Plenty. Even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Mm, I think not. You see, I have something to do still. There's another More one. murders. Just one. Just one. Yeah, knew it. Who is it, though? Not counting yours. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that pretty face. Okay, right away, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we're prepared here. So we're going vampire oil. And uh, we already have the black blood, but uh, we need the moon bombs or the moon dust. Okay, we still have one. Let's maybe switch out one of our other bombs just because. Uh, Dragon's Dream, Devil's Puffball. We can just do Grape Shot, honestly. Okay. This 
is going well. Missed him. That ain't good. Is he affected in there? I think he is. Come on, get me out, get me out. Get me out. Yeah, I didn't think you'd like that. Oh, that really, that really messed him up, actually. doing the right thing here. Oh, he was healing. good though Let's go Thunderbolt. Yep, hello. Be ready. No. <gasps> what? You want to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. Okay. I'll help myself. No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Who's me exactly? I, oh, you right. Regis! All is well. All's in order. No way. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. So, how did you regenerate? It's just... Miraculous thing. regeneration. 
How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So... You obviously know him, but what brought you back here? So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Okay. Not some decadent shit who kills for sport. He's got his reasons, but I can't figure out what the link is yet. What do you think the reasons are? So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Okay. And why are you telling me this? Awfully good of him. But do I need to know this? Yes. So you'll understand Detlaf is no cold-blooded killer. I believe he's landed in some mess and he sees no way out. What makes you say that? Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. So... Okay, so Regis, if he's the person that I think he is, I'm pretty sure he's been referenced in the books, and I do remember, I can't remember what the details were, but we know him, like, from long ago, and obviously he's stated that, but I, his name has come up before. I'm trying to place it, but um, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure he's in the books. We'll find out more, I'm sure, but... Any idea what could have angered him? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive, in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say. 
but intend to find out. Well, we gotta find him. Are you gonna gotta be helping? Find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I okay, mean, so even when there. I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. So he's gonna be pulling us Hither, in one direction. The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. Yeah, you better I'd go. I'd makeshift quarters at Mare Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. Mare Lachaise Long. That smoke is really interesting how they disappear like that. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Whew, okay, so that didn't really shake down the way that I thought it was going to. So we at least know what the beast is, or who it is. Purchasing brief. Toy inventory, tin soldiers, baby animals, or sorry, stuffed animals, baby dolls, grown-up dolls, building bricks, jigsaws, knight's outfit, full princess costumes, and witch capes. Okay. Oh, this was the end like a mouse with the head of hard cheese. Deed to Corvo Bianco. Uh, we, Anna Henrietta, by the grace of the gods, Duchess of Toussaint, do hereby grant Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge, the lands belonging to the estate of Corvo Bianco, together with all goods in Chatel, found thereon. Uh, furthermore, Geralt of Rivia now becomes the owner of the estate and swears to see its care and upkeep. He is to make it fertile and beautiful and shall enrich himself from the harvest that the land provides for his own glory and the glory of Toussaint. Let it be known to all and sundry that in our fair domain, deeds of beauty sh shall never go unrewarded and the land shall never lie fallow. For both deeds and land exist to bear good fruit. Her illustrious grace, Anna Henrietta. So we've got ourselves a place. Uh, what is this? Nithing? I'm asking for help from any who can give it. Someone has cast a cruel and treacherous curse on my line. For which I cannot find a remedy. If you've skill in undoing such charms, or if you have heard of a worthy cunning man or peller who has such a gift, seek me out in my house near the Ranveg and rescue me from this misfortune. I shan't spare the corn coin. This must have been something we picked up on the notice board, but I don't recall it. Race for Modron Freya's glory. Looking to worship Freya and prove your courage at the same time? Join the annual hero's pursuits. The priestesses and our goddess herself will shower you with gold and blessings. Let it be known that not everyone who takes part in our race will reach the finish line in one piece. So if you've got a pregnant wife, unfinished business, or debts, your honor bound to pay. Think twice. These might be old ones, actually. Monster on the high road. I think these are just old ones. Yeah, missing miners. Okay. I'm just going to go through all of these so that... I'm assuming they won't come up each time with this full list and maybe just the new stuff that we found. But, uh, that's yet to be seen. Okay, and I would really like to get an idea of just exactly what we're working with here. So, recent entries are, uh... Emil Regis Rahalek Tirzif Godfroy and Detlef van der Eretin. I'm totally butchering that. Uh, let's see. Detlef, for sure. Milton's murder was very swift. Even with years of witchering under his belt, Geralt could barely keep up with him. Soon it became clear the killer was as clever as he was fast. By entering an old warehouse where he set a trap for Geralt, in this way, Geralt had his first face-to-face -face encounter with the Beast of Beauclair and discovered it was a higher vampire named Detlef. 
A fight immediately ensued, which might have ended very badly for the Witcher had he not been saved in the nick of time by an old friend, Regis, who put a stop to their battle. After that, Detloff fled away in a puff of fog. I will say, I actually think that we were handling ourselves pretty well. Now, Regis. Okay. Geralt chased Sir Milton's murder with mad intensity. How this chase ended stands as clear witness of the fact Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where it set a trap for him. A fight ensued, and at a crucial moment, Geralt was saved by Regis, a higher vampire and old friend. Here I must explain that years ago, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow travelers, of which I was a proud part. This is Dandelion, of course, talking. And set off with us in search of Ciri. Together, we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you can trust with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was killed by a Vilgeforts, who, or by Vilgeforts, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Hence the Witcher's immense surprise at encountering his old friend. After all, he'd seen Regis die with his own eyes. But the thing is, that was not Regis' final death, nor even his first. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and overindulged in the drinking of blood. This lifestyle led him to being butchered by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all for an immortal. When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of blood drinking for good. For years, we'd all thought he was gone forever, yet there he was standing in front of Geralt in the dockside warehouse. Regis explained that he had regenerated and come to Toussaint to find Detlaf a friend. Such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together again in Beauclair. They did not have long to enjoy the reunion, however. They could hear others approaching, and Regis, not wanting to risk an encounter with angry humans, agreed to meet, up back, meet back up with Geralt at the cemetery where he had made an altogether comfortable temporary home for himself. Okay. Cool. Um, so we will go and we will meet him. Let's just, uh, can we take a look? Oh, this is the new alchemy thing. Uh, we can pin it. Makes it easier to keep track of what you still need to acquire. Um, let's see. Meet with the tournament's organizer. We could probably do some Gwent stuff soon. Wine Wars. Go to the place where the auction will be held. Knights for Hire. Yeah, cool. Okay. There's still some Skellige stuff um, that I feel like we could probably do them. There's this big game hunter that would be kind of interesting. Treasure hunts. But otherwise, everything's pretty cleaned up. Um, so this is good. Okay. Uh, just before we wrap it up here, uh, let's go through our uh, character stuff just a little bit. So here's the current branch that we've gone with. Um, we've got precise blows here, which I could probably level up again if we wanted. Increase the chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 6% and fast attack critical hit damage by 45% and 3% adrenaline point gain. Uh, muscle memory, fast attack damage increased by 25 and strength training, strong attack damage increased by 25. Over on this side, uh, we've got lots of extra vitality because of these uh, green mutagens. But protective coating adds 25% protection against attacks from the monster type the oil targets. That's like significant. That's really good. Uh, poison blades. Oil applied to blades give a 15% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. Chances greater the higher the level of oil used. And then uh, fixative. Blade oils do not wear off, which is fantastic. Side effects. Imbibing a potion gives a 100% chance of activating the effects of another randomly selected potion without additional toxicity costs. So if you've been wondering why multiple things will be popping, um, that is why. Heightened tolerance. Increased potion overdose threshold from 75% to 100%. It's great. And acquired tolerance. Every known level 1, 2, or 3 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. Then over here, Fire Stream. This is the... Um, uh, the Igni alternate version, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, Delusion, target does not move towards Geralt while he's casting Axie. Increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Reduces Axie casting time. Failed Axie attempts stagger the target. And then Ard Sweep, it's the alternate one that kind of slams the ground, which is, uh, again, pretty helpful. So, uh, we do have a couple of extra points here, right? We got four points. What would we really want to switch out? I guess we could just upgrade the ones that we're currently uh, not maxed out on. 
which is really just this one. Um, this one's maxed out. We've got a whole bunch of mutagens here. Huh. Oh, cool. We can make that a little bit bigger if we need to. So I think what we'll do, this is like, this is our main method of attacking, right? So I might as well upgrade this. And then at least we have everything that we're using currently is maxed. Um, I could probably spend some time going through here to really um, make these powerful. Like going into Whirl would probably be great. Um, just specializing a little bit more. I kind of like that idea. We need additional five points to unlock Whirl. We're kind of diversified, which is not such a bad thing. But at the same time does prohibit us from being like really awesome at one thing so uh yeah uh let's see here what else do we have uh, i kind of want to show you our stats here we go so we're doing pretty good damage with our swords lots of armor uh lots of resistances going on we've got a crossbow but whatever uh vitality is pretty good toxicity is all over the place total play time is significant <laughs> uh, sign intensity is uh, way up there. Stamina and what else here? 5% bonus experience from non-humans and humans. And then 5% bonus experience from monsters. So if we look at the actual uh, inventory, what are we rocking right now? So we've got this Ophiri Kiliji, or uh, sorry, Killage. And then the Dahlia that we picked up from um, the giant that we faced. So let's just see here. This is pretty nice. Like that's the one that we were carrying before. I like that this does armor piercing. It's interesting. Oh, and look. Oh, no, that's from the enhanced vampire oil. Okay. Uh, this one's actually even better. And it's required level 39. So I should probably be using this. Art sign intensity, critical hit damage bonus 75%, 20% bonus experience for monsters. Yeah, look at that thing. Okay. What about this? Arandith. Uh, it's nice. It's a relic. The master crafted woven steel sword. Doesn't do as much just raw damage. That one does armor piercing. This one gives us a bunch of stuff though. I'm going to do that. Now, there's also this ability to upgrade to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Um, up to three different oils can be applied to a sword at a time. Wow. And bombs are thrown without any delay. I'm going to have to figure out more about this Grandmaster stuff. Because that could obviously be very beneficial. Uh, we have this sword. Weapon charges with energy during combat. Um, when its color changes to red, a strong attack will release its energy in an extra powerful strike at the cost of the attacker's vitality. What? Where did we even get this? That could be cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, now what kind of runes do we want to throw in there? We've got a couple of greater runes here. I like straight up attack power. Chance to stagger is always nice. Poison. Burning is good. Adrenaline point gain. Let's take the attack power. And poison and burning against like uh, humans. And then I think the stagger is nice against monsters. Adrenaline point gain could be good. I think that's going to be it. Unless I could go extra stagger, can I? Yeah, there we go. So now, 10% chance to stagger, I'm guessing. I think it should stack. And we should be good. Armor-wise, uh, we've got an ornate robe, which is apparently better than what we have right now. The Mastercrafted Woven Armor. Um... We're going, we have all the woven gear. I wonder if we have anything in our like stashes um, at the various locations around this place. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's an overview of what we got going on there.
So, uh, I think for now we'll take a break and we come back. We will head out to meet, uh, oh jeez. We'll head out to meet Regis. Oh, well, there's Palmerin. Let's... Good hunting to you, Witcher. We're relying on your mastery of your craft. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Uh, let's do a little meditation here so that we can refill all the stuff that we need to. And let's go till, uh, early morning. And we'll pick up from here. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.